Look at our universe, composed of galaxies, stars, planets, etc. But that's not the whole picture. As you dive deeper into the matter, you will see that everything is composed up of particles, so small that even the most powerful microscopes cannot see them. In the year 1896, mankind knew of just one particle, the electron. And today, we know of more than 200 elementary particles, the latest, most famous one being the Higgs boson. But what it really is, why we spend 14 billion dollars on it and why is it called the God particle? This is Q&A and here is the answer to the question, what is Higgs boson? There are four fundamental forces that govern everything in the universe. One is gravity, due to which planets go around the sun, electromagnetic force which tells how the charges interact, weak force that is responsible for the radioactive decay of the atoms, and the strong force that holds the protons together inside the nucleus. Each of these forces, except gravity, has a particle associated with it, and the elegant theory that describes these particles is known as the standard model, which also contains this Higgs boson. Back in 1960s, there was a very important unanswered question in physics and that was how do particles acquire mass? To answer this, Peter Higgs and five other physicists introduced the concept of Higgs field, which is present everywhere in the universe, yeah, even in your room. Now let us understand the concept with a daily life example. Imagine walking on a road. You walk easily and don't feel any resistance or drag. But what happens when you try to walk in a pool? Your legs interact with the water and you feel a drag that slows down your motion. That's exactly what happens in Higgs mechanism. The Higgs field is the water and the particles are people trying to walk in the pool. The more a particle interacts with the field, the more drag it feels and heavier it becomes. But some particles do not interact with this field and hence they don't have any mass, example the photons. But wait, this video is about the Higgs boson. Where is the Higgs boson in this story? Well, the quantum excitation of this Higgs field is known as the Higgs boson. Confused? Let us try another example. Suppose you have a glass of water. Everything in the glass is calm initially. but when you add an ice cube to it forcefully, what happens? The water splashes all over, right? Well, this splash is what the Higgs boson is. This means that when the Higgs field gets excited by massive external energy, that splash of energy is termed as the Higgs boson. But reaching this level of energy is not easy. It took 50 years to discover this exotic particle. Higgs boson was the last missing piece of the standard model. Lastly, why is it called the God particle? Is it a manifestation of God? No, the real story is quite different. Once, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, Leon Lederman referred to the Higgs as the goddamn particle, just to poke fun at how difficult it was to detect it. Later, the goddamn particle was supposed to be the title of his book that came out in the 1990s. However, his publishers weren't happy with that phrasing, so the title was changed to The God Particle. And this is the title that became popular in media and the rest you know, God Particle Discovered was in headlines in 2012. People think that the discovery of Higgs boson was the ultimate goal of particle physics, but it was just the beginning. A lot more is yet to come. Subscribe to our channel for the next episodes of Q&A.